Well, the day will be fabulous because it's not only a matter of presentations, but it's a matter of working together to actually produce a collaborative vision. And so very few times do you have the opportunity to actually not just to present, but work together within that to, to produce that collaborative vision. And if you stay on till tomorrow, not only can produce the collaborative vision, but you can actually build the prototype, the design of that vision. So we hope that's going to be reasonably unique and a very special two days. The biggest problem of cities in Europe, the way I see it, is that there is a gap between the aspirations of the politicians and the city makers and civic leaders and the needs and aspirations of the people on the ground. So there is a big gap. The aspirations of the politicians are towards a kind of cohesive, clean, functional, well-managed places. And the aspirations of the people is for a good quality of life. But I think the most important point from the from the Socratic discourse was the was the tension between a cohesive society and innovation and creativity. Um, and it's important that, that there still is a role for tribes and for and for innovation to emerge from this cohesiveness. You know, the, the danger of a cohesive society is a very bland society that uh, has no ambition. Yeah, I think uh, from this morning's discussions, one theme was, was uh, in, in many of the many of the speeches or, or, or talks given there, and it was the uh, question of somehow subjectivity or, or identity and, and, and its relationship to, to, to the community. Uh, number one, um, play, so that's about joy, fun, um, rock and roll, spirit, that kind of thing. So it's about a sense of enjoyment. Number two, well-being, so that's trying to encapsulate health, being healthy, feeling good about yourself. So it's not just a physical sense of health, but also the kind of emotional and physiological sense of health. As far as sustainability and growth. If you are asked to go in the same duo, so you need a duo, and first I will interview you, and do, you will then interview me. Just complete first the interview to the one person, and then reverse roles. Okay? Make notes when you interview the person, but it's also important to look the person in the eye, because you're asking her, or she, you're asking him or her, the most important experience in this domain, so it's a very personal question. We just did a, did a session on uh, experiences and recommendations for the city, and what was your recommendation? My recommendation was uh, is to maybe focus on uh, programming, programming material, and uh, maybe think that uh, all the objects that we have nowadays, today, can be augmented with programs and services, and that technology will be infiltrated into our everyday life and invisible. The most important thing that came out of it is that we first, everybody was thinking that cohesion was a very important value in society. A cohesive society is a very important uh, value to be striving for. And that everybody realized it's not a very important value, but it's a very important value for politics, politicians. And what is very important for us humans, normal human being, is to have a low level of trust that we can operate ourselves. And we don't need to be very cohesive because we also love conflict. Yeah, people are now making, uh, they're doing a little introduction to prototyping and using electronics and using scrap materials to build things. They're making little um, LED throws, which uh, I think if you walk with me, I can uh, show you what it is. There are these little uh, LED lights connected to one small corn cell battery and to a magnet. And um, that means they can be used for um, little light art in the city.
Hanson. <laughs> experience that the prototypes uh, are very strong convincing mechanisms uh, where I'm working uh, because uh, talking about digital technologies is very abstract for most people but when you see a, a concrete uh, demonstration or prototype or a concrete solution that somebody else has developed then it's much more understandable for the decision makers and the budget givers to actually understand what is possible. We thought, with Andrew, in fact, okay. we discussed a lot with Andrew on uh, an international event. And uh, in fact, the idea to have uh, uh, many uh, players coming from different cities and thinking on the future of the city was the major in the idea to create this workshop. Yeah. And what do you think of the results? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, uh, I did not know yet uh, the final result because I need to, to, to see the, the three projects. But for me, it's really amazing what happened during two days. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we've asked Patrick as our sponsor today. Uh, Patrick has sponsored a unique prize. This is normally would just be a regular bottle of champagne. But he's been so inspired by the work which you've produced today that he's got very creative himself. And he's actually donated this very special work of art which he did this morning. So it's a very special project. What scenario was the making? Thank you. No. Human mesh. But it was a more creative, more taking risk and um, creative risk um, change mm -hmm. and in the same time social and um, ethical. ethical so we imagined a society uh, of course uh, where uh, everybody is connected because this direction we can't um, imagine without and the idea was there were two, two networks the network of the people they were uh, they wear, wear, wearable, wearable, exactly. wearable, uh, wearable device and they can ch choose the level of uh, the, how they are connected. So if they want to be fully connected to exchange every information they want, they can. But if they choose only to, to, uh, to share with other people very special information, they can choose. The final conclusion of these two days is that we have to go for the awareness that all applications are rule-making applications. So if you make an application, it's not a tool, it's a, you could say, political act. So you should be aware of that. You should be in communication with, with, with people. Finally, we have chosen for a, a scenario in which trust is very strong. We give citizens the trust and the tools and the rules to design their own environment. So for instance, we skip school and we make a sort of excellent community where people can be individuals like in a jazz orchestra, but at the same time need quality in order to play together and at the result are in a common experience. And this is a very strong future.